Meet Jeannie, not her real name. She is a teacher in the hybrid classroom. She is an experienced teacher who has taught for many years, but has never taught in a hybrid classroom. So she has some questions. What are hybrid classrooms? The word hybrid simply means a mix between certain characteristics pertaining to a concrete or an abstract idea. Let's take the idea of classrooms. Hybrid classrooms, therefore, are a mix of in-person classrooms and online classrooms. The year 2020 saw students studying in online classrooms for the majority of the time. The year 2021 saw a gradual return to in-person classrooms, but kept the online classroom option open for sporadic cases of when COVID appeared. And so the hybrid classroom became a style of classrooms teachers were now expected to teach in. How are hybrid classrooms different from blended or flipped classrooms? Hybrid classrooms are different in the way of teaching with technology is done. Hybrid classrooms use technology to teach students physically present in the classroom and at the same time, those attending virtually. Blended classrooms have all students attend physically and are taught their lessons through technology, but their assessments, such as projects, assignments, and tests, are done and graded online. These measures of assessments can be done online by students sitting physically in the classroom or when they are at home. Flipped classrooms have all students learn lessons at home and through their own pace through videos their teachers prepare online, and then they physically attend the classroom to complete assessments such as assignments, projects, or tests in the physical in-person classroom. The pros of a hybrid classroom. In mentioning the pros to a hybrid classroom, we can also see how teachers can overcome the stress of teaching in the hybrid classroom. Number one, the opportunity to learn is unchallenged. The one real advantage to hybrid classrooms is that no student is left behind. Students who are unable to attend the in-person classroom for any reason may attend virtually so as to not miss any important lessons. Therefore, teachers can keep all students up to date as to what is happening in the classroom and not have to re-explain the material to students who missed attending the class. Number two, classwork is done online. Teachers teaching in the hybrid classroom should also be given digital copies of the textbook or have worksheets available online so that when students are completing tasks independently, teachers can prepare only one set of materials for students instead of having students work on two different materials inside the classroom and outside the classroom. Number three, lessons are recorded. When teachers have started the virtual part of the classroom, they can also record the lesson so that if students come late to the in-person classroom or online classroom, students can watch the lessons later so that they can catch up on what they missed. The cons to hybrid classrooms. In mentioning the cons to a hybrid classroom, we can also see how teachers can recognize stress factors with teaching in the hybrid classroom so that they can deal with the impacts to mental health. Number one, energy in the classroom. The energy level needed to teach in a hybrid classroom supersedes those needed to teach in an in-person classroom and that of teaching in an online classroom. We all need energy to get us through the day. There is no question about that. In the classroom, energy is closely tied to the motivation to get things done. A recommendation here would be for the teacher to keep instructions to a minimum and use interactive activities to help reinforce learning objectives and outcomes to help keep the energy level of students high. Number two. One group may be ignored. As with technology, sometimes things don't go according to plan, and so having students who are in the in-person classroom wait and technically become ignored, while students in the online classroom set up, can be a challenge to classroom management. When a teacher is speaking with the in-person students, he or she may unconsciously forget about the students online, and vice versa. Therefore, it is recommended that teachers use material and learning tools that can be seen and used by both groups at the same time. Number three, monitoring two classrooms at the same time. When it is time for students to do their work, how can the teacher split the time between helping students in the online classroom and helping those in the in-person classroom? This is where the help of classroom jobs comes in as part of classroom management. One classroom job given may be a classroom helper. This is given to one student in either classroom who finishes their work first and therefore can be ready to help others with any questions if the teacher is already busy helping another student. 
As teaching in a hybrid classroom is not an easy task, I recommend that only experienced teachers be asked to handle such classrooms, as they can be overwhelming for first-year teachers or those not very versed in the technology to handle. Let us know what you think about hybrid classrooms and whether we helped you understand more about how teachers can use them in the classroom. For more educational videos from EduKitchen Recipes for Learning, please like, share, and subscribe to EduKitchen Recipes for Learning. Check out our other videos in our Teacher Strategies and Education series where we look to important topics and bringing inspirational teaching strategies into the classroom. And until next time, keep learning and have fun. Thanks for watching.